to look too far back, look around what's happening in the world today. We know Pittsburgh, the tragedy that happened there, we're still reeling and shaking from that. And other tragedies around the world, there's so much darkness and sometimes it feels a little overwhelming. It feels like darkness is winning. But the message of Hanukkah is that a little bit of light has the power to dispel much darkness. Have a room that's very dark, all you have to do is light a small candle. You don't have to fight the darkness, the darkness will just melt away. And so the, mir the miracle of Hanukkah and the menorah is really the message of adding our light. Every single person, each one of us has a godly soul, has a spark inside of us, a spark of goodness. And when we go out there in the world and we illuminate the world with our goodness, with our kindness, with our love, even small acts of kindness have the power to push away tremendous amount of darkness. The middle candle, and back in the ancient time, the menorah was made with branches. Am I correct? So the middle branch, but for tonight's purpose, the middle candle, if you look at the way it's constructed, it, the other candles branch off. The same way our demeanor, our behaviors, our actions, and most importantly, our good deeds should outreach and branch off to others to influence them in a positive way. I say to everyone, as we celebrate all these holidays during this time of year, we are all the same. The same blood flows through all of us. And that goodness, at the end of the day, will prevail. So it is a wonderful day to be here. And that light is not only going to light up Vetner, but that is going to light up the world. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.